Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and a very happy new year 2021 to you. So, welcome back. And uh, yeah, here we are sitting in the home office again. Why aren't we out at an organ? Well, as you may have heard in the news, Germany has once again entered a rather restrictive lockdown, thanks to our little friend Corona, who refuses to leave us alone. Mm. So here we are stuck again for the, what's this, for the third time now? I'm not terribly sure. I'm, I've lost count. So many of it. But we are working on something to ensure the future of our organ channel. Now, in a minute, you're going to hear a piece of music that we recorded recently. We were out and about. We were in Bonn Boyle. That's part of Bonn on the east side of the River Rhine. And in the legendary church St. Joseph with its wonderful four manual double organ. And uh, normally I play the New Year's concert there in the church. At least I play it every second year. Um, there's a sort of a tradition we have in Bonn. I get to play the even-numbered years, the uh, New Year's concert, and on the odd-numbered years, Finnish uh, concert organist Kalevi Kiviniemi gets to play as well. And uh, yeah, so this year I should have been playing the concert and I did get to play it, but I had to record it. It was uh, put up on the channel, International Organ Concerts. I'll link it down below so you can see the whole concert. Um, I presented it in German, by the way, so um, in between the pieces when I tell you what I'm going to do. It's all in German, sorry about that. But it is a German channel in a German church, so I suppose we had to do it that way. Um, but the whole concert was recorded recently and put up live on New Year's Eve. And if you haven't seen it yet, like I say, you'll find the link below. So enjoy that. And in a minute or two, I'm going to play you a piece of music that we recorded for the concert. So before that, an update of what we're going to be doing in 2021. Now. Last year we had a long list of things we wanted to do on the channel, including visiting lots of new organs, presenting new pieces of music, blah, 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 blah. And as you know, a certain little virus got in the way of all of that and that was it. We were kind of stuck. So we didn't get everything done we wanted to. Will we get it done this year in 2021? I don't know. I hope so. But until we can get back out again and visit some new organs, we are going to be installing our own home organ right here in our home. And for that, I have been gathering bits and pieces, including a pedal board, which was uh, given to me as a donation by an anonymous donor. So that was rather, rather generous and rather wonderful. Thank you very much. And this magnificent piece of furniture that I'm sitting on. Yes, it's an organ bench. And I got this on eBay Germany for the princely sum of a one euro. Now, it's a bit tatty around the edges, it's a bit old, but it's going to get a nice sort of sanding down and it's going to be painted up again and it will look like new. But this is my own solid wood organ bench and I'm rather excited because the bench and the pedal board are two rather expensive parts of an organ console. Now, what else do you need for something like that? Well, you need MIDI keyboards, you need MIDI connections, you need a computer, and so on and so on. What am I talking about? I'm talking about Hauptwerk. Remember Hauptwerk? We've presented this a couple of times on the channel up to now. That's that sampling software that enables you to play um, sampled real organs. Now, they can be church organs, they could be theater organs, they could be concert organs. Now, they've been very, 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 very perfectly sampled in great detail. Um, every pipe is sampled separately. So yeah, um, it's not like, a, not like a simple sampling software. It's very, very complicated. And if you have, a, shall we say, if you have a two, three, four, five, six, seven manual organ uh, a mid or MIDI controller, shall we say, it's basically an organ console that looks like well, it's a MIDI controller that looks like an organ console, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, then, of course, you can control this software perfectly. Now, you can spend tens or even hundreds of thousands building your own organ console. And there are some providers out there who will build you a Hauptwerk console for a princely sum of money. And it will probably have all sorts of fancy things in there that, let's, be, let's face it, I don't really need at the moment. Yeah, This is my home and I don't need an all singing, all dancing computer with 4 million gigabytes of RAM that will, I don't know, cover everything and things like that. I have a perfectly well working PC here that I can use for that. It's got 64 gigs of RAM on it. It's three or four years old. It's new enough. Um, so that'll do for the start. Do I need fancy touch screens to do things? N not yet. Maybe in the future. Do I need uh, 400 pistons? Do I do things? Not really. Do I need 
four, five, six manuals. Not really. So, you know, I'm going to start off with a small system, at least three manuals. We'll see how we get on. Maybe we can stretch it to four, I don't know. Um, so that I can play most organ sets. Yeah. Now, why do I want to do this? Well, like I say, are we going to be able to get back out and about this year to do normal channel work for you? Not at the moment. First few months of this year are going to be taken up from home, basically. Yeah? It's very restrictive. So we're stuck. So that's the plan. We're going to be building our own console. Now, in the last couple of weeks, some rather generous anonymous donors have, they just, after they saw my last video in Marienstadt, I think they said, hey, here's a donation towards your organ fund. And wow, thank you very much. Um, I'm not going to name any names, but um, w there's one guy in America I do want to mention. I'm just going to say JM, that's all. I'm just going to say JM. JM was very, very generous. So thank you, JM, for your donation. That was absolutely amazing. And um, there's another guy in Switzerland who donated some money. Uh, I'll just call him D, if you know what I mean. So thank you, D, for your donation from Switzerland. And I, uh, there was a guy in Holland and a couple of guys in the UK. I think they're guys. I'm not sure. Some of them didn't give their names and things. But, I've, you know, there have been some donations there, some small donations and a rather large donation from JM, uh, which was amazing. And sort of one of the guys came up with the idea and said, why don't you put this out to your people? Maybe they would like to donate something towards it as well. And, well... I wondered about it for a while, but I've come up with an idea. And if you look down in the description below, you'll find a link to a PayPal button or a PayPal donation button, I think you call it. And um, it's in euros and it might be in German all around the world. I don't know, but it's fairly self-explanatory. And I've put three sort of amounts in there. I think 15, 25 and 50 euros. Or you can put in your own amount. Now, if you want to donate something towards this organ project of ours, well, that would be amazing. That would really speed things up and we could get this thing going within the next few weeks. That would be amazing. Um, so thank you in advance for that. Now, obviously, I'm not just going to accept donations and then go and build an organ and that's it. Just say thank you here. Obviously, people who donate something will receive something as a thank you. So um, I posted... Um, I posted, a, uh, I posted a post on the YouTube page uh, this afternoon. Uh, detailing what we're going to do there. So uh, people who donate certain amounts will be rewarded with private um, videos, private m music videos, or exclusive music videos, shall we say. And um, people who donate over a certain amount will get lots of extra videos like making of videos and a private concert on the new organ when it's ready and up, up, up and running. So um, if you do want to donate something towards our organ fund, uh, you will be rewarded. Thank you very much in advance. So, I think we've said enough. Have I covered everything? I'm going to... Oh, yes, my wife has not. She... I haven't covered... I've missed something out. I've missed something out. No, I haven't missed anything out. I think she's kind of worried that um, if, if I get this thing, then there is going to be 24 hours of organ music every day here at home. But I have promised her that um, I will not be installing large speakers from the beginning. If I'm, if I'm going to be you know, doing stuff for the channel, it's going to be recorded straight into the PC so I can mix it down for our videos. And obviously, if I'm practicing stuff, I can just put on some headphones. So that means my missus and our little dog here don't get disturbed all the time with some delightful organ music. I know you think differently there, but you know I have other people in my life who aren't maybe quite as organ mad as I am, or as we are. So there we have it. Enough talk. Here's a piece of organ music we recorded for our uh, New Year's concert. It's called Glory, Glory, Hallelujah. It's a very famous spiritual piece, and that's how we opened our New Year's concert a few days ago. Thanks for listening, thanks for watching, and we'll see you very soon with some more exciting news, hopefully. See you then. Bye-bye.